Hello. So today we're going to make two salads. I'm going to show you how to cut a watermelon and a pineapple and how to zest a lemon. So for your marinade is what you're going to need the lemon for, which really is you put all the ingredients together, mix it together, let your meat marinade. But the trick with it, if you haven't had Chef Yates class already, is you hold it upside down and you zest it this way so that you can see what you're zesting. Now we're gonna trim a watermelon. A trick a lot of people don't know is it is a lot easier to trim a watermelon with a serrated knife. So you cut the end off. You cut the end off. If you're not comfortable, you can always cut it in half. I'm comfortable doing it this way. And you just go along with the natural shape of the watermelon to get the rind off. And if you don't get the rind off the first time, then you can go back over where you see the white and get it off. Now, once you get to this point, you would take the time to clean the rind off, and then you would just do large slices of watermelon, like this. When you were done, this is what your watermelon would come out looking like once it was sliced. Now, this watermelon is the watermelon that I grilled. And when you grill it, you just want to grill both sides to get the char line on it. And then you just large dice it. And you'll do the same with the other piece. and then the watermelon portion of your grilled watermelon salad is complete. Now with a pineapple, you wanna make sure that your pineapple is golden and has green in it. And for your watermelons, you wanna make sure that they're hollow but still heavy. That's how you know you have a good watermelon and or pineapple. You start with cutting the ends off. And you cut off one side, you can cut off the other, and you cut it straight down the middle. Then you go with the curve of the pineapple. You want to get the eyes of the pineapple off as well. You cut that in half, and you want to take this core out. Now you can do it this way and cut it out, or you could stand it up and cut your core out, and then you're left with a usable piece of pineapple. That after you grill it, will look charred or even burnt, but that's the flavor that you're going for with your fruit. And then that part of the salad is done. And since we have the watermelon out, we can go ahead and dice it for the watermelon feta salad. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Except this is gonna go over a bed of greens.
And then with the grilled watermelon salad, you add some blueberries, gives it a nice color, a nice tangy flavor to go along with the smoky, kind of sweet taste of the fruit. And you top it off with some toasted almonds. And that's the grilled watermelon and pineapple salad. The watermelon and feta salad. You're just gonna do some feta cheese. Again, you're gonna sprinkle on some toasted almonds. You can drizzle over the vinaigrette. What I did with the vinaigrette was I blended in some fresh raspberries with a little bit of rice wine vinegar and I used a fat-free raspberry vinaigrette as the base. And then the lemon zest, you're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that. And those salads are done. Then for your chicken, after it comes out the marinade, you don't wanna marinate it for more than an hour because the acidity in the marinade will start to denature the chicken. Now, you have a choice to grill your chicken or to bake your chicken, but essentially this is what your chicken will come out looking like. And that's it.